I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on logarithmic functions. Here is an excellent example of a logarithmic equation. 16 equals to x to the power of log to the base 2 of x. Let us see how to solve such a question. Now we are given 16 is equal to x to the power of log to the base 2 of x. How should we begin? Well, one way is to take log to the base of 2x on both the sides. Now, this is an excellent approach. We actually solve such equations by taking logarithms on both the sides. Now, since we are talking about base 2, it should be log to the base 2 of x on both the sides. That should solve the problem, right? So, we have log to the base 2 of 16 equals to log to the base 2 of x to the power of log to the base 2 of x. Now log to the base of 2 of 16 is 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4 and here applying the power rules what do we get? We get log to the base of 2 of x times log to the base 2 of x. Now this is a very interesting step. So what do you notice here that on the right hand side we have square of log to the base 2 of x, correct? So we get 4 from the left side and we get log to the base 2 of x whole square on the right side. Now if we square root, we get square root of 4 with a plus and minus, we can find what is log to the base 2 of x. Now this uh, will result into two solutions, right? Let's take it on the right side and write down the solutions. So what we have here is log to the base 2 of x is equal to plus minus square root of 4 means plus minus 2, right? So that gives us two solutions. One, we could work out with log to the base 2 of x equals to plus 2. And then we can have log to the base 2 of x equals to minus 2. Now if plus 2 is the solution, then we could rewrite this as x equals to 2 square, which means x equals to 4. And on this side, x equals to 2 to the power of minus 2. That means x equals to 1 over 4. So we have two solutions to this equation, and which are x equals to 4 and x equals to 1 over 4. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. This is a very important question. I would like you to practice a similar one. So let me give you another question, which is on the same lines. So for you, the question here is, um, let's say t1 is equal to x to the power of log 3x, correct? So this is a practice question for you. You may pause the video, solve this question, and then uh, find the solution. Well, looking into what we did, we expect x to be equal to what? We expect x to be equal to 9 and 1 over 9. That is 3 to the power of plus or minus 2, right? So that is the solution for this particular equation. Uh, but I hope this kind of taking logarithms on both sides will give you a practice to solve such questions. I hope you understand and appreciate these steps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.